you need to make sure that you collimate two inches distal to the wrist joint and two inches proximal to the elbow joint and make sure that you basically have one inch on the sides. And then also the carpal bones are going to be slightly distorted just because of the divergence of the beam, but you can still see them nice and clearly. The way that you make sure that everything is positioned perfectly is you pay attention to the overlapping of the radial head, neck, and tuberosity over the ulna. It needs to be ever so slightly overlapped right here. You also wanna make sure that this joint space is open as best as possible. The lateral view of the forearm, you need to make sure that the radius and the ulna right here are nicely superimposed. The humeral condyles should be nice and circular. And when I'm talking about the condyles of the humerus, I'm talking about the capitulum and the trochlea um, being superimposed over each other. When they're superimposed, it'll look like a nice little circle. You also need to make sure that the radial head is superimposed over the coronoid process and that the radial tuberosity right here is facing, they call it anteriorly, but basically facing this way. 